we are starting this new series of Red Dead Online streams from zero to hero. Basically, I'm gonna be leveling from level one, create a new character to level 100, and all that is gonna be happening on the streams. So it might be you might consider it like a you know big guide <laughs> many hours of guide uh before we'll begin few few words like as you probably know red dead online is uh you know the best part of this game is first 100 150 levels uh, b before you will reach the point when you will realize that rocks are just forgot to make a end game content and they literally don't want you to play when you will, you know, reach level 150 or so. Uh, but, you know, first 100 levels are fun if you like the setting. And probably that's why, like, every year I start a new character. I have my main character, level 400 and something. But every year I start a new character, so it's not a second character, it's not a third character, not even a character number four. I don't even remember how many. Sometimes I start more than one. But anyway, let's go, let's go. And again, hello and welcome to everyone who joined. So, choosing online and yes, starting to play. And yes, before you will even ask, no, it's impossible to create. I haven't read anything of this, but let's submit. Uh, it's not possible to create a second character on PC. No, just like there is no such option. So what I had to do, I had to purchase another copy of Red Dead Redemption 2. I bought Red Dead Redemption 2 because like I don't need Red Dead Redemption 2 story. I already have it on PC. But I still bought Red Dead Redemption 2 because you know what full game was 19 cents cheaper than Red Dead Online standalone. How do you like that? I bought it for uh, 19 uh, uh, euros and 80 cents and Red Dead Online standalone was 19.99. And I'm reminding you that Red Dead Online is included to the full game of Red Dead Redemption 2. So yeah, just uh, like this situation. And yeah, again, before people will ask, uh, all these uh, streams will be available on my channel, so recordings will be available. Don't worry if you will miss some part, um, but on the other hand, you will not be able to, you know, type in chat. And by the way, hello to everyone who's in chat saying hello. Okay. And we're starting. And yeah, usually I'm just skipping uh, tutorial, but here... I will not skip the tutorial, I will complete tutorial, and even more, I'm not gonna be applying for this easy 10 gold bars, I'm not gonna be setting up two-step verification just to make, uh, you know, just to make this more challenging. So anyway, anyway, male or female, you know what, actually pretty much all of my characters are male, so let's choose a female character this time. Let's go. Now, the hardest part is to make a character that looks like relatively decent, in my opinion. So, what's her name? The fun part, if you haven't played Red Dead Online, you don't know it. But, like, at the very beginning, you have to choose a name for your character. But the trick is, no one ever will see this name. Everyone will see only your account name. N not like, not like this what you what you do here yeah, so uh so I, now i need to make something appropriate uh super whoops i forgot to change okay super cat like super cat is fine because no one will ever see it Let's go. Appearance. Randomize all. I like to play this game of randomizing until I see. Uh, well. Okay, usually you know what it's like. Okay, this, uh, this uh, woman looks kind of good. Okay. So, more 10, less 10. Uh, age 37. No, no, no. What if what if I will meet Leonardo DiCaprio? No, 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 not 47, 24. 
So eyes are like this, because you never know who you're gonna meet in Red Dead Online. Spoiler, <laughs> no one. You will not uh, meet anyone. Actually, you know what? She looks kind of good already. Okay. Nose thin, I like it. Mouth and lips full. Okay, no. Ears neutral, cheeks ne neutral. Teeth, oh my god, what's wrong with her teeth? Oh, no, 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 it's bad. Okay, apparently Chompers is like the best looking option. Hair. Uh, you obviously can change hair at any time, but let's make her blonde. Yeah, okay. Lifestyle. Lifestyle is... Uh, And yeah, by the way, at any point you can change how your character look, but you cannot change uh, the gender of your character. Makeup. Okay, I don't like makeup. Let's remove it. Smoky eye. What does it mean? Let's let's take like this. No, no war painting. Well, you know what looks looks decent to me. So yeah, good enough for super quiet. Huge ears, no teeth. No, no, I'm not gonna choose that option. Whistle, it doesn't matter. What uh, what matters though is attributes. Like, don't choose stamina because leveling up stamina is super easy. You just run around and you level stamina. So now here you have two options. Health, uh, you can usually level it up by killing enemies with bow or by fishing. Killing enemies with bow is faster. And the die. Actually, both are equally fast to level up, in my opinion. But I usually choose health to have a little bit more health at the beginning. So yeah, basically, health, confirm. There we go, let's go. Make her brunette. No, I, I, I want her to be blonde. Maybe, you know, you can change it in the game. Maybe later I will change it. And yeah, I said that, you know, all the steps of leveling, let's play intro. Usually I skip it, but I'm saying this time I will play it. Just, you know, for the purpose of showing the whole journey of level 1 to level 100. But anyway, I said that uh, usually, uh, you know, that I'm gonna be playing only on streams. And yes, but except for one thing. Like... When I'm not gonna be streaming, because I'm not gonna be streaming every day, few times a week, but not every day. Anyway, I'm gonna be logging in and completing only one daily challenge to keep a uh, daily challenge streak going. That's it. And here we go, Sisika Penitentiary. Let me know, by the way, in the chat if, like, if everything is fine with quality of sound, picture, and so on. Oh, apparently, right now, there are only female prisoners. I never mentioned it, but if you create a male character, there will be a male penitentiary. But here we have a, a prison for women only. I'm not sure if this cutscene is skippable. Uh, like, spoiler story is not that great in Red Dead Online, and the most importantly, it's unfinished. Hunter, thank you, Hunter, for super chat. Uh, hey, my first live of yours, I'm able to catch. I just found your channel about a month ago, when I got into Red Dead Online and love your videos. Glad you're enjoying them, and yeah, I will place like... Yep, here we go. I tell you what, old Jameson is a red so... Here we go, in a prison wagon. We ain't saying nothing because our hero is not saying anything. Our hero cannot speak. That's what you need to know about Red Dead Online. I, I don't know why. Was it that hard to make some lines for our character, like male and female voices? I don't know. Okay, so here we go, and boom, ambush. Unexpected. 
It's a game about crimes. No. Sorry. <laughs> Here we go. Crazy ambush. There we go. Mayhem Rob says, so many fell false premises in this beginning. Yeah, you will see. There are like pretty much everything that tutorial tells us about this game is a lie. And then there is a trailer and it's a lie too. <laughs> so, I mean, I like how it creates a misconception of what Red Dead Online is. And here we go, we got our first Cattleman revolver and carbine repeater. But before you make even first steps in, in this game, what you need to do is you need to go to settings. So, if you play on a controller, uh, you obviously go to a controller and change that a lot. But if you don't play on controller, if you play on mouse and PC, PC mouse and a keyboard like I do, you still have to go to controller, even if you don't have it, and change normal setting to free aim. Like, it's a must-have. Uh, I placed a link in the description, like there are other, you know, settings that you want to change, especially if you play on the controller, like you have to change pretty much everything here, a lot of stuff here, and so on. But if you, if you play on PC, what you need to change, like, it was, what, narrow, you need to change it to free aim. Why? Because when you ha when you use a free aim for each kill, even if you kill like a squirrel or something, you get additional 20 experience points. And even if you don't use controller, but you had that setting, you will not receive these 20 additional points. So anyway, here we go. So let me know in the chat if there will be any issues. And hello and welcome on this stream. And yes, guys, I think I will just, you know, cut this part on a uh, montage. Montage. Okay, so here we go. Again, we will have to follow uh, Horley. And he says something, but don't worry, it's not really means anything. Like, because I repeat, unfortunately, story is not the strongest part of Red Dead Online. It's unfinished, it's pretty simple comparing to even side missions in in, uh, in Red Dead Redemption 2. But the biggest problem, it's unfinished, like, it's, it's stupid. Like, sorry for ruining the fun. <laughs> but anyway, story, like, usually nobody really cares about it. Dolph, thank you for becoming cat supporter. And thanks to all my supporters on YouTube and Patreon, and to people who placed a like under the stream despite all the issues. Cat, why you choose the girl character? Well, most of my characters are male, so I decided to make a female character. Anyway, now we're gonna approach the hitching post. There we go. Okay, dismounting. Dismounting into cutscene. Do you have these Starfield vibes? <laughs> I do. <laughs> like every... But do, again, it's not so many cutscenes here. Yeah, Twisted Trading, I agree. Other horses might come and go, but Scrawny Nug is forever. Yes, you will have this horse forever. But don't worry, pretty soon you will get like a normal horse. Okay. 
So the story is, your character, main character, is in a jail for apparently killing this woman's wife, but your character never did it. Uh, but because your character don't speak, <laughs> he couldn't explain, like, oh, she couldn't explain, like, oh, no, it was not me. Oh, hi, Mark. I did not kill him. It was not me. Oh, hi, Mark. Anyway, your character is not speaking, so... He cannot say it. And that's why you are in the prison. But, plot twist. Uh, there are some other people who killed this woman's husband. And, uh, spoiler, we will kill most of them. But probably not in this playthrough, because I will just ignore the story. Because, as I repeat, it's, like, not the best one. And here we go, changing clothing. Now, you get some free clothing, but it doesn't like matter, just pick anything. And just because like this clothing will look pretty cheap and poor, because it's pretty cheap and poor. It's on purpose. Rockstar wants you to buy gold bars immediately and buy fancy clothing with it. But don't do that, I will show how to uh, how to get fancy clothing even without without buying anything. So let's take pants. Oh, red one. Okay. So yeah, like all these items like that you get for free at the beginning, they don't care. What is overalls? No, I don't want it. Looks kind of lame. Hat. Already have hat. So, okay. So we good. Yes. Let's go. Here we go. Now she will tell us a story. So if you're interested, pay attention. But probably not. Yeah, and it's like it looks a little bit fancy this outfit, but there is a way to get like a decent outfit for free. I will show it immediately after finishing tutorial. Okay. And I mean, it's kind of interesting that Rockstar tried to make some sort of a story, but at some point they just gave up and be like, yeah, like whatever. And even even forgot to finish the story. Her first name is Super and last name is Cat. No, it's basically her last name, Super Cat. We don't know her first name. It's just like she's a s mysterious Super Cat. Okay. Like, have you seen that picture of a woman previously? It's the one that we will never see. <laughs> like literally, she gives, uh, she gives her picture and like, oh, she's my former friend, and she was, you know, killing my, killing my husband, and boom, we will never see that woman again. I'm not kidding. She, she's not in in a game. Like, forget about her. And, and actually, like I said it before, stream kinda crashed, I will repeat it. A lot of things that we see and we get promised during tutorial and during cutscene, we're not gonna receive. It's, it's, it's kinda weird. <laughs> okay, enough talking. I, I'm ready to join my Wild West adventures. Give me, give me a mission. Uh, nothing is happening. Goodbye. Goodbye. For now. See ya. Oh, Mr. Cripps. You will see him a lot. He's gonna be at your camp. He is doing nothing, really. That's me. 
I'm your new boss. And again, it's a, it's a lie. We're not really a boss to creeps. He gives us orders, said, says bad stuff about our dog, and basically he's in charge. He's in charge of a camp. So, like, it says like you are his boss, but in reality it's not true. It's actually vice versa. He is like in charge. <clears throat> yeah, horse thief. Like at this point, if you only start in in Red Dead Online, you might think like, oh, so we're gonna be stealing horses and selling them to horse thieves? No, <laughs> no. But uh, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, so far, only pretty bad things about the game. But the game is good. It's just like the best part of it is open world. And, uh, you know, atmosphere, overall, overall atmosphere. But just, like, instead of focusing on that, Rockstar tried to focus in a tutorial and uh, during trailer on things that are simply not in the game. I don't know why. And uh, I think it's one of the reasons why so many players are quitting Red Dead Online so fast. Creeps definitely mourns at me more than I mourn at him. He has no respect, exactly. But you don't mourn at him at all because your character cannot speak. Remember this. So it's only Creeps mourns at your character. And in theory, like, you are the boss. And, like, immediately when you start, you will see that if you will try to ride pretty fast, your horse will run out of stamina before you will even reach the destination point. Another, you know, cheap trick from Rockstar to make you purchase gold bars. Actually, you know what, I, at first I was not riding with uh, acceleration, that's why I still have a little bit of stamina left, but it, if I was starting to ride fast from the beginning, horse would run out of stamina and you would have to run. And again, Rockstar did it on purpose, I'm telling you. So anyway, Mr. Post Clerk. Hello. You it. Yes, I don't speak. You must be a Horny's friend. Mm -hmm. one of us. He said you are also a discouraged creature. Now, I will be honest. I try not to talk too much to women. I, well, let's leave that. All that. That's me. Insisted you was okay. I'm very discouraged, you see. Which is interesting, these cutscenes are unskippable. And again, like uh, a few years ago, like actually three years ago, uh, or even more, they all cutscenes were skippable in Red Dead Online. But then Rockstar decided that, like, the best part is cutscenes, that people love watching cutscenes with characters they don't really care about and probably will never even see. And made all cutscenes unskippable. I'm not kidding. And by the way, among them, Alden is like one of the best characters. Like most of really. Interesting that dialogue with Alden changes if you are a female. Yeah, it's a, it's a good detail, you know, just like uh, all females in Sisica Penitentiary. Okay, here we go. Let's go to Bayou Noir. At this point, I think it, it might be a better solution to steal a horse than using our free horse, but... Cutscene with Sean is pretty funny. Well, it's just like, there are a few characters that you at least know. Trelawney, Sean... Uh, even said Adler, but most people don't know that she's in the game. Uh, like Bonnie McFarlane. But again, you will only see them in cutscenes like once or twice, and that's it. Unfortunately, there, what what I try to say is that unfortunately there is no story around them, you know, and it's a shame. Okay, so.
Not sure why, but I'm not. My, my horse is not running out of stamina now, which probably is some bug or something. Oh, it's because the game explains like how uh, stamina and health bars work. Because like, if I was just riding uh, this horse like regularly, I would be run. I would be out of stamina already, like long time ago. Yeah, by the way, guys, thanks to everyone who returned to this stream and who placed a like. Here we go. Oh, I don't... Like, what? Where are my weapons? I forgot to pick them up. Okay, so... I don't have too much... Too many weapons. I don't have that much ammo. And I don't have painted black at all. So... So what what are we looking for? We are looking for hideout. I was skipping uh, I was skipping tutorial so many times that I don't even remember what is happening here. So maybe we can try to go for stealth kills, but maybe it's not just the best idea. Oh, bulletproof bushes. I forgot that they exist. Okay, let's take cover. And yeah, don't try to kill enemies through bulletproof bushes or grass. It's like pretty. Um, as for weapons, obviously, you know, you're gonna buy better weapons really soon. But with that being said, actually, Carbine Repeater and Catelman Revolver are not that bad. Let's loot him. There are no chances to find uh, collectible items in these enemies, so there is no real need to loot them. Uh, but I need, maybe I will find some tonic or something. Yeah, I found. And money are pathetic. Just pathetic that you get from looting, so it doesn't really matter. And here we go. It's, uh, it's a gang leader. Aim weapon. Okay, so he's dropping a map. I'm not gonna kill him. Okay, so it it basically a tutorial that tells you how to use uh, your inventory and stuff. And uh, it 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 also gives you like your first treasure map and like how it works. You read a map. Uh, and it shows you where the treasure is, so you need to go and find it. But the problem is, like, this treasure map in the tutorial, not treasure map, but treasure itself, is unusual. It pays you almost nothing. <laughs> so, it's also, you know, it's a stupid moment that Rockstar did uh, because of pure greed. Because, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure... I will show you, actually. You know what? Let's not spoiler. You will see what kind of a treasure I will find in the treasure chest. And, yeah, later you will find these treasure maps and, you know, reward will be much, much higher. But here, like, your first treasure, you just bought this game. You're starting to play it. And all your attention on a reward place. It's gonna be uh, impressive. And you see, horses run out of stamina, so I have to walk uh, the rest. It gives you free dead eye. It gives you like $50. This free dead eye is $50. That's it. There it is. Like taking taking reward and let's wait. Are we gonna be rich? Gold wedding ring. It costs like two dollars. A lot of jewelry, which all costs two dollars. Ammo and <laughs> and three dollars and zero point zero five cents. Legendary legendary achievement. Legendary payout. Uh, but anyway. Uh, we we do receive an ability card and like 
There are three cards we can choose. Painted Black, Focus Fire, <laughs> and Moment to Recuperate. Obviously, choose Painted Black, you know. By far the best choice. Zero to Hero, just like that. It's more like Zero to Zero. Don't forget to equip this card. And, and you know what the problem is? Like, you received $3 for a mission, basically. You received 0 0.05 gold bars. Then you finish tutorial. You open Keflok. I don't know. Maybe we can open Keflok uh, while in a tutorial. No, we cannot open Keflok in a tutorial. But anyway, once you finish tutorial and open Keflok, you see prices like $600 for one Mauser pistol. Uh, and, and you'd be like, what? Wait, I've spent like five minutes fighting bandits, searching for treasure, uh, and what I received is three dollars. Like, will I have to play grind until 2057 to earn enough money to purchase at least something? And yeah, and your horse is running out of stamina immediately. It's just like, the problem with tutorial, in my opinion, Instead of introducing players to Red Dead Online, explaining all and, you know, getting uh, players to enjoy this game and world, it literally distracts players. Not distracts, but scares away players. Like, like look, I run out of... My horse has no stamina. Like, what? Why are you doing this challenge to yourself? Because I enjoy, uh, you know, leveling up, uh, leveling up character. It's kind of fun. But uh, actually, you know, the thing is, if you don't, if you know how to play Red Dead Redemption 2, I do suggest you to skip tutorial be because of the reasons I just explained. Uh, but if you don't know how to play Red Dead Redemption 2, for some reason you haven't played Red Dead Redemption 2 story and just started to play in Red Dead Online, which in my opinion is like not the best choice, but you do you. Uh, and anyway, in this case, it's, it's a bad idea to complete tutorial, but tutorial is kind of lame and misleading. So, sorry. And, and you know what, when you finish tutorial, it gets better, but... I repeat, in my opinion, tutorial should not scare away players, should not give false promises, and should not make an impression that the only way to play this game is to immediately open in-game shop and purchase gold with real-life money. Because, like, I'm telling you, most people will have such impression under this tutorial, but in reality, Monetization is not even necessary in Red Dead Online. You can do absolutely fine without paying gold, buying gold with real life money. And you will have more money than you can spend pretty soon. But uh, anyway, tutorial creates this false impression. Look, oh look, I have to run because my horse runs out of stamina. Bro. Horse, get here. I need to meet Clay Davis now. Luckily, he's nearby. Randy Page, I agree with Randy Page. What should tutorial do is reward you with beans and saddle donkey. Yeah. What kind of matchmaking? I cannot start any matchmaking. You complete this mission solo, don't worry. <sighs> but I will have to find uh, but I will have to wait until I will find other players and like all the time I completed tutorial before I was completing this mission solo why this much making even exists I don't know It's unskippable, if I understand correctly. So let's wait. And meanwhile, please let me know in the chat how many viewers do we have and how many likes there are, because I'm afraid that if I will alt tab to, uh, to a browser, 
<laughs> my streaming software might have issues again so you know i would rather not touch anything nah triple a i don't believe in 1000 viewers i would say like 200 viewers maximum yeah 300 and 200 oh thanks to everyone who plays the like and here we go another mission that gives false expectations you know what i, I should have just skipped tutorials <laughs> uh, like really ready ready let's go by the way you can buy uh no you, yeah you can buy ammo if you need but i'm afraid i don't have enough money no i actually have and even more you know I thought that it's just like in PvP, you can buy tonics, but no. Anyway, let's ready. I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> See, they're playing cards. Is this is the first of 1 to 100 series. Yeah, it's the first of 100, 1 to 100 series. By the way, if I remember correctly, this mission can be completed in stealth, and stealth is not like super fun in Red Dead Online, but I will still try it. It's not super fun because sometimes it's broken and works kind of randomly. But overall, I, I like stealth, but the thing is, you would rather have a bow, and I don't have a bow yet. Are you going to turn this into a video series? No, I will just keep recordings of all streams and that's it. And you might remember these uh, brothers from story, but again, spoiler, except for this mission, we're never gonna see them again. Like, just because why not? Yeah, yeah, they're telling how to set up horse business for sure. Unfortunately, no. Stealth is always random at Rockstar Games. Yep. That's true. This mission should be, like, relatively easy. So let's try to complete it without uh, killing anyone. The problem is, I, I don't remember how to knock out uh, targets in stealth when you <laughs> when you are on PC. I don't remember the button. Is it just a fire button? No. Let's try. Yeah! There we go. And yeah, don't worry about the bodies lying on the ground, like... Oh no, he saw me! Oh, it's time to use a die and show how it works, by the way. Uh, I, I, I mean, guys, you have seen it. Oh no, what, what happened? What happened? What I pressed just now. Bro. Some steam menu, I don't know if you have seen it. Um, but anyway, as you can see, with pa painted black ability card, fighting is so much easier. Okay. No, 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 what's, what's wrong? Why? Ah, I'm, I'm I'm pressing some button that opens Steam menu. Not again! Like why? Are you kidding me? It's so stupid. Like when you press W and tabulation at the same time, it opens Steam menu. I don't need this stupid Steam menu. No, not W. Shift, Shift. So when you run, 
Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be painful. Yeah, shift plus tabulation. I should disable it somehow. Because it's 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 lame. I never played this game on Steam before. I bought it on Steam because like I already have it on uh, on uh, e not Epic Store but Rockstar Launcher. But to create another character, I had to buy another copy of this game. So I bought it on Steam. And well, it's so lame. You can switch Steam menu shortcut in Steam. Uh, yeah, we'll switch it later. So anyway, right here you will choose your first horse. It doesn't matter, like, they all the same, but just, like, choose the color that you enjoy. And let's go. Let's go to stables, horse. Uh, if you buy another copy of the game, you can run to instances. Doesn't launch or recognize it's already installed. I had to create another um, account on, on Rockstar, on Social Club. Another Rockstar account. Okay, so I, I think I, I have to dismount. That, that weapon was... So anyway, the last one. No, not the last one. There is another one. Is this a new character? Yes, it's a new character, new account. And uh, I will have to change somewhere in the Steam settings this menu. Not again. There are a lot of enemies actually chasing you in this mission. Maybe if I manage to... Com to complete it in stealth without breaking stealth, it would be easier because like, there would be no additional. There would be no additional NPCs. So apparently we have to deliver this horse to stables in Saint Denis, and again I'm running out of stamina. It's annoying, and again it's annoying on purpose. Cat, what makes mouse and keyboard easier to free aim? I don't know. It's just for me. It's just easier. I, I think it's uh, the answer is like uh, how much have you played with mouse in the keyboard overall, and how much have you played with free aim on the controller? And let's go. Let's go. Oof! I almost pressed Shift Tab again. And there we go, like, uh, pay attention to this cutscene, because it's kind of funny. Yeah, yeah, let's go. It's like five dollars or something. Okay, now listen. We will buy them as soon as we set up. Okay, okay. But <laughs> you know what? Five years later, and they are still not set up. Still not set up. Yeah, yeah, right. And they even giving you horse for free, and they, he, he's like saying, like, oh, let's give uh, this horse for free because we have a big future business relations. Uh, but no, you still cannot s steal and you know tame horses and sell them. I mean, you can tame horses, but you cannot keep them. You can steal horses, but again, you cannot keep them. So yeah, track and services. 
services. Game literally, ha you know, makes you to do something. Oh, okay, brew. Brew. Okay, so now you need to give your horse a name. Buy health insurance, which is absolutely unnecessary, actually. And uh, take a free saddle. Again, it's just literally game tells you how to set it up. Let's take this one. You cannot buy stirrups yet, but as soon as you can buy the most expensive one. I mean, I can buy stirrups, but 5% is not a big difference. Not a big difference. So, yeah, we're good to go. And here we are. Now we are almost ready to complete tutorial. All we need to do and go and meet creeps at our camp. And finally, the real Red Dead Online will begin. Again, guys, if you're watching this, few tips. If you know how to play Red Dead Redemption 2, you might skip tutorial. It's literally will not create the best impression probably for you. Just just choose skip it. You will receive horse for free. You will receive saddle for free. You will even get some money by skipping tutorial. Yeah, okay. If you haven't played, just play, you know, to get used to controls and, and, and stuff like that. Tell creeps to take a buff. And there we go. Now it's gonna be a trailer. Okay, here I am, creeps. Let's begin our journey. How do you get on with clay dating? Or a little wretch, in my opinion. Pop this and pop that. I'd like to pop him, slime bucket. Anyway, on the second part of our stream, I will get a cool, not cool, but like relatively cool outfit for free. And we'll start grinding first gold to purchase first roll, which should be Bounty Hunter this month because it has a discount and extra payout. Cat says hello. I hope you can hear him. Okay, Creeps basically explaining you something, but it, it's unrelated to your experience in the Red Dead Online completely. Just like everything that you see in the tutorial or in the trailer. Like, I helped to steal an elephant. Cool story, Creeps. It's not your home, you will be homeless for the whole game. Even if you will reach like level 1000 and will have 10,000 gold bars, you will still be homeless. Again, sorry for spoilers. Here we go, trailer. Here is a train that you can rob. No. Oh, nice. Bank. Can you see the bank that you can rob? No. But you can fish. Immediately we'll meet griefers, though. You can make photos of these griefers. I'm telling you what, like, game should tell you, like, the real thing. If you will spend gold bars, you might buy this outfit. Which is probably unavailable because it was in some old Outlaw Pass. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Play poker if it's available in your country. And by the way, a Bonnie McFarland that you just saw is 14 year old. Here you go, absolutely useless random encounter. I don't know why it happens, it has no reward, literally. Okay, that's actually... Uh, now we see rolls. It's it's really in the game, because it's a naturalist roll now, before it was a bounty hunter roll. Uh, I assume it's, uh, it's a moonshiner roll. Yeah, this is more or less what you can do in the game.
and drinking moonshine. Like, if you have friends, they can sit at your camp. There we go. Alone or together, you are ready to explore the world of Red Dead Online. I'm ready, let's go. I assume I should be like level 3 or 4. Uh, so now I need to... So what do I need to do now? Just open menu, okay. And yeah, game tells you how to find your mailbox at your camp, how to collect deliveries and stuff like that. Good trailer though, I would buy it, definitely buy it, because you know it's a uh, ever evolving world. You can see here. Now we have like 10 millions, uh, 10 million different letters. But what we need immediately to do, like first thing to do, is we need to go to Saint Denis. Two reasons why. And luckily we always will be close to Saint Denis. First we need to meet Guido Martelli and watch another scene. And second we want to go to... Uh, not to a barber shop, but to clothing shop and purchase ourselves a better looking outfit for zero dollars zero cents basically for free so let's go and yeah, you immediately can find uh, some collectible items so time to time activate eagle eye same same button that activates the die. Oh, one more thing. Like, change <clears throat> uh, minimap from regular to expanded. Like, immediately. It's much more useful. So, yeah, why do we need to go to Saint Denis uh, to meet this Guido Martelli? And probably you don't remember this, but Guido Martelli is a character from Red Dead Redemption 2 story that we see for like 10 seconds and we hear about him one, once, I think. Uh, it's because he's giving. Uh, he's giving blood money. Not he's giving, but you need to meet him in order to unlock blood money missions so yeah let's go you just go here and watch another unskippable cutscene yeah this uh, by the way this horse runs out of stamina also pretty fast but don't worry unlike fr that scrawny nug this one can be leveled up and after it will reach level 4, bonded level 4, it will be like more or less fine. Yeah, unlock Capitale. That's, that's true. So here we go, another unskippable cutscene. Welcome Guido Martelli. Perhaps you have already guessed what I wish to discuss. The word Capitale does not mean anything to you? I hate word Capitale. It means a lot to me. I hate it. Just like any other Red Dead Online player. Any. You will hear this word like 10 million times. For almost no reason. Oh, Capitale, thank you that you said it again. I almost forgot. Capitale means suffering, <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> No, I don't understand. I literally don't understand the whole idea behind this capitale. So basically it's like a it's like a secret currency. But no one can can use it like only he and if somebody has this capitale, we have to kill him and take it. <laughs> like it's a currency which uh, has no market for it. Oh no, he's in a big trouble. 
possession. How did you come by this? You stole it, yes? No, no. Please, Senor. Senor Martelli. Do not speak I, my name, I, Porco. I found it. I swear to you, I did. I did. I found okay. it. I did. On your knee. I swear to you. No. He found it. Where did you steal it? I mean, it's literally a currency for thieves. And thief have this currency. Like, how does Martelli know that he stole it? Like, it's literally should be a black market currency, which, again, makes not much sense, because, you know, to have a currency, you have people to trust in, in your financial system, let's say, like this. But it's like, literally, they found a dude who is a criminal and has this capital, and they be like, yeah, you stole it. Let's kill you. They, I mean, I'm not saying, like, uh, game-wise, Capitale makes not much sense, but, like, literally the whole idea behind this Capitale is just, like, bah. Okay, that is for later. Hey, hey, my cat showed up when I said... Capitale too many times and now he thinks I need to feed him. Ah, don't, don't move camera. But you know what, the, the problem with Capitale is that it's a kind of stupid conception, but the mission missions themselves are fine especially for beginners they have relatively good payout they interesting uh, and stuff uh, but like they just needed to include this stupid currency and we already have like three currencies money gold and useless roll tokens which again is not really a currency and i have no idea why it exists like everybody has more roll tokens uh, that uh, he or she can spend but anyway they decided like oh you know what let's add another currency so anyway the problem with capital emissions is that uh, to unlock them you have to visit such dudes on a map you will see them like you see it's uh they they are basically <clears throat> strange strange uh, stranger mission givers but with bad honor and they're also capital givers including sean by the way right here it says stranger but it's sean but you cannot go there and like immediately start making blood money mission you will see it later it's a it's a spoiler but you have to complete Stranger Mission, which is 10 times worse <laughs> than Blood Money Mission. Anyway, let's go and get ourselves a nice looking outfit. Go to Sean, he's at least funny. Yeah, we'll go to Sean because, you know, I, I fast travel is free of charge this month. So anyway, so now how to get a relatively cool looking outfit like immediately at the beginning there is a thing like each each month rockstar is given for free one community outfit so some uh someone from usually from reddit fashion makes an outfit and they see it and they give it for free and you see you can claim it for free so just go through all the items and claim all pieces i i don't there should be coat hat shirt pants boots and stuff like that just just like only one item is free and you can find it because it has like a big sale uh sign and price from zero dollars okay i thought it okay Oh, this one is free. Okay. So that's how you get uh, a free outfit. I don't think there will be a poncho. So let's take a shirt. Here we go. It's actually a pretty cool idea 
that rocks are made, I don't know. That will require gold to That's a good looking west. Oh, oh, by the way, sometimes there is a, a rank requirement. So it, it, the claim button will not be active. What you need to do, you need to pretend in such cases that you want to buy this item with gold and pay zero gold bars and you will receive it. Doesn't matter which uh, uh, level requirement it has. Oh, corsets. Let's take a... Uh, Let's take a corset for free. Nope, no free corsets in this outfit. So let's take pants at least. <laughs> Which is interesting, we already have the same pants, but wrong color. So skirts, dresses, I don't want, I will be wearing a costume and they are not giving them for free anyway. So let's take boots, oh, immediately. And, and you know what, this outfit will be much, much better than, uh, than the one that you can afford at the beginning. Now just go to accessories and see if there is a anything that costs... Uh, zero dollars with a discount like this and again we have to pretend that we want to pay gold which uh, by the way many people don't know how it works and that's why they're not getting these items because a lot of them have a uh, level requirement and rocks are are really not explaining how it works so anyway, you see we have a free outfit. Uh, in my opinion, pretty good looking, but don't forget to save it. Save outfit, outfit one. Let's call it outfit one because I have no imagination. And now we are ready to start the grind. But first of all, you see, after tutorial, we have twenty-four dollars, and let's spend this money on something useful. Like best you can buy on a low level would be tonics. So just buy just buy few health tonics, like I don't know four or five and buy a few snake oil tonics for the die and uh, yeah what is important though you need to go to a post office to mailbox maybe at your camp maybe at a post station and pick them up you're not getting them immediately like weapons you get immediately not this Free revolver, Arthur is saying. Uh, I'm I'm on a I'm on a different account. I don't have, like, uh, to receive a free low re revolver. You need to have, uh, you need to have, uh, GTA Online, and it's necessary to complete like a maniac mission in GTA Online then you can really go if you have them on the same account you can go here to Valentine uh, right here I believe and in a basement you will find Lowry Revolver but as I've already said I created a new account so Rockstar Social Club account so I don't have this But if you, oh, if you have, if you have uh, like GD Online and already completed this mission, feel free to pick up a much better revolver because it's a navy revolver basically, and it's it's much better. Okay, I'm not not quite sure. Manzanita post. Let's go and visit Sean. That basement is creepy. Yeah, it is. 
It is. It's after all, you know, that basement uh, belongs to Maniac. I don't remember if you need to complete a stone hatchet uh, challenge to or just simply kill maniac in uh, GTA Online, but you probably completed it as well because for stone hatchet uh, uh, challenge you get some good amount of money. Oh no! Oh no! It's a it's a grizzly! Oh no! I, and I don't, I don't really have weapons to kill him. Uh oh. Oh no, he saw me. Bap, bap. Okay. Go away, Grizzly. Here you go. Let's go and get some big game meat because it's literally one of the most uh, most valuable resources and you can get it from big animals like grizzly oh he looks kind of creepy and also by skinning animals and it's something that many people don't know you somehow <laughs> i have no idea how but you somehow level up the die bar which you know, makes no sense at all. Are you playing in solo lobby? Obviously, yes. Unfortunately, it's the only way to stream on PC. Like, if I were not in a solo lobby, there would be uh, like 10 cheaters already in my lobby showing different weird stuff and let's go we will meet Sean what the fuck buddy what is it he's not that nice I don't like getting surprised shit you looking for Work. Yes, obviously I'm looking for work. I'm not saying anything, but like, for s somehow you made the conclusion that I'm looking for work. Still waters run deep. That type of shit is it? I temporarily lost me. He actually gives us like a relatively good uh, blood money, not blood money, but stranger mission. Oh, we live like sultans, not fucking tents. I'll find them again. I've lost them before, you know. Once was for three months it was. That's how it goes. Like and yeah, I, I went to Sean because uh, his location is actually pretty close to fast travel post. So there are like few locations with blood money givers that are really close to fast travel. And Sean probably is the closest. In roads. It's also close near Emerald Station, um, but here, like you have to go from Manzanita Post for like a minute or so. And here is what I told you: like uh, instead of just immediately starting to grind blood money missions, which are relatively good. Rockstar literally forces us to complete a stranger mission, which are outdated, and later you will see why. But good news are, you need to complete such mission only once when you unlocking this uh, strange mission giver. So here we go. Ah. Uh, not gonna use it yet. Uh oh. So I immediately reached a rank 5. 
but it doesn't mean anything because on this rank I'm not gonna receive you know what riding and shooting is much easier with painted black so we're gonna do it like this oh no no no, no. what no 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 <laughs> Oof. Hey, mister. I just wanted to make a hip fire. I mean, you still lose honor. And now you have to steal a bag and uh, just deliver it back to Shone, I assume. No, 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 not the passenger. Sean don't really need a passenger. And here we go. Now let's go back to Sean. As you can see, stamina increases like extremely fast and I don't even need to do anything. Just running around works. Yeah, like uh, there is a comment about honor that it doesn't really matter which honor do you have in Red Dead Online. Once you're gonna feed or brush your horse, you will be fine. Oh no, we are wanted. Like, I'm not quite sure what these uh, lowmans were doing there <laughs> in the middle of a forest. They literally just appeared out of nowhere. Okay, so I'm not, uh, I don't remember if I have to lose them or I can like immediately deliver. I think I can deliver. Yeah, it's not even it's not even necessary to lose these uh, lowmans. But now, payout. That's why I was saying that uh, these missions are much worse <laughs> than. Take a look. Oh yeah, ten dollars. Ten dollars. Here we go. Okay, like to be honest, blood money missions are not paying like you thousands of dollars. Payout for same length mission will be twenty dollars, but it's still more. Plus uh, missions themselves are more interesting, and so on. And yes, just in case if you're watching this stream as a guide, what you need to know about Red Dead Online is that in pretty much all activities, payout is based not on your performance, really not again. Not again. No, stupid bear, run, 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 run. Here we go. Oh, no, no, no. I got on this, I got on this rock. <sighs> I got on the rock and then, uh, anyway, I should have stopped while I was on the rock. Okay, let's go back to Sean's, um, to Sean McGuire. And complete the blood money mission because it's the way to grind golden money when you are a beginner. Are you reading chat? Yes, I do. So if you have any questions, ask. Are bears annoying to you in this game? Like it's not like you will meet bears too often and later when you have a shotgun, bear is not gonna be a problem. But yeah, time to time, you you will see them. Anyway, I was uh, I was talking about payout structure. So payout is based on the time you spend in the mission. More time you spend, more money, golden experience you earn. It's like that's the way it is. Bears aren't annoying grizzlies on yeah, I was uh, I meant grizzlies bears are just running away from you 
Anyway, now we have, you see, crimes and opportunities. Crimes are blood money missions. Uh, I don't suggest you to waste, uh, you know, to complete these regular crimes, which don't have parts. Uh, because uh, these contracts are much better. First of all, they're just like better by themselves. But the most importantly, when you complete all three parts, you get additional money 60 dollars so let's begin with jeb phelps contract uh other good choices would be a railroad contract blue water contract is definitely the best but don't worry we will complete them all let's complete jeb phelps i guess i should have bought some tonics <laughs> I earned ten dollars after all. Well, seems whoever he was running with had enough of this shit and traded it for thirty pieces of silver. Now I know what you're thinking. Why should you care? Well, here's why. Jeb's old gang are sitting on a whole load of capital. Oh, oh no, he has a lot of capital. But so what, what is kind of interesting, by completing these missions, you don't receive Capitale. It it's literally makes no sense. You can find Capitale in these missions, but for completing the missions themselves, no one pays you Capitale. So, like, another kind of weird... Yeah, obviously, uh, the faster and mostly cleanly you complete the mission should give you more money, but it's the way Rockstar kind of tries to fight with, you know, glitches. So, there are some glitches that help you to complete mission extremely fast, like, for example, at the Doyle mission. I thought, just go away, go away. Okay, guys, I'm, I'm not sure if camera is fine now, so I will switch. No, nah, I will not. Okay. So, here is the first part of this mission, and actually, here we will have a lot of shooting. Like, a lot of shooting. Weapons are extremely inaccurate without painted black and it's again something you need to know. With free aim they are more accurate. Oh, I forgot to kill this. Forgot to kill this dude. Let's loot because maybe we will find some tonics or something. Okay, now we have to set Jeb Phelps free. There you go, buddy. What level you got? So far level 4, I think. Maybe, oh no, 5, level 5. But I guess after this mission, my level will be higher. Let's go. Unfortunately, I don't have too many tonics. And they're absolutely necessary. And I don't have weapons, so this mission might be uh, challenging. Oh, oh, oh so, sorry, I forgot. I forgot to pick up a dead body of a guard. The whole point of this mission is to bring a dead body to one horn. And I forgot it. But don't worry. As I already mentioned, you're getting paid for time. Step. And now let's go. And there we go. Dragon, dead body to a city. As I already said, uh, blood money missions are much more interesting and complicated than stranger missions. They even have some small story, which in most cases you will probably not care about. The only exception is a Blue Water Man contract. And there we go. 
time to time use the die in uh, uh, not the die but eagle eye because maybe you can find okay okay now now we are in trouble uh oh there is an explosive now I have to take cover because like okay usually taking cover is not necessary but when you are on a low level uh, you should do it so let me take cover here maybe was that someone is shooting me from there Taking cover is necessary because first of all you will take less damage simply because like enemies are gonna be missing you But the most importantly <clears throat> you, res you restore health while in cover twice faster So <clears throat> if you are in trouble and at low levels just take cover and you'll be fine obviously It's not working when enemies can flank you so now let's loot everyone because you here you already can find collectibles even if you don't have collector roll and again we are getting paid for time spent in a mission and optimal time would be between uh, 9 and 12 not between but exactly 9 or 12 minutes I forgot to start the timer so I'm not sure uh, how much time I'm in a mission but yeah let's loot everyone and then we can pick up fire bottles and yeah first gold you know, I need 10 gold bars now to purchase Bounty Hunter roll because there is a discount. Like, usually it will cost 15 gold bars, but now there is a discount, so only 10 gold bars. Uh, and I need 10 gold bars. And most of my gold I will earn from Bounty uh, Blood Money missions, from finding treasure chests. So now we get this. I, I don't even need to throw a fire bottle into a explosive barrel, but let's do it. <laughs> nah, no, not again. So annoying, I need to change it. I mean, it's literally gonna get me in trouble. I actually don't know if you see it, but like when I'm pressing shift and uh, let's take cover, <laughs> not like not the best. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, he has a shotgun. He might actually kill us pretty fast. Now we need to uh, pick Jeb, return Jeb to a safe house. But first, we will find Capitale. Let me tell you because remember, Capitale. That's what these missions are about. And by the way, jokes aside, you might ask, like, what this Capitale is even used for? It's used for starting. Uh, missions that are called blood money opportunities oh no they have they have reinforcements so anyway it's used for missions that are called blood money opportunities and they like pay pretty well for low levels no 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 
Like when you some some another annoying uh, detail that if you're aiming at your horse, it's possible that you're not gonna be able to shoot. It's literally not gonna let you shoot in. Okay, I'm in I'm in trouble now. You know what? Let's let's pick the capitale and get out. Capitale is hidden right here. Be careful, there might be additional enemies. So, oh, here is it. Box. Opening box. Picking up Capitale and running away. You see, Capitale, nice. And by the way, you need uh, from 15 to 25 Capitale to even start this mission. Opportunity mission. Let's, uh, you know what, let's not deliver Jeb to a safe house. Because we still have some time uh, that we want to spend on, let's say, completing daily challenges. To receive a higher payout. So let's hide here. Wait until wanted level will disappear. And then, meanwhile, let me open daily challenge list. General. Uh, can't, fo can't food eaten. I cannot do that yet. I don't have posse members. Herons skinned. Indian tobacco picked. Uh, shak Shaky missions completed. It's again, it's a strange mission. Not even wolf completing it. So wolf skilled and wizard uh, shop in Valentine are the easiest. Indian tobacco also can be found close to Valentine. Hero. Uh, so anyway, unfortunately, I cannot do any of these missions here. So let's just deliver him. It's just like, usually it's a great idea to complete daily challenges while you are still in a mission. Because remember, you will receive higher payout. But I need some mission in Valentine. There we go. Let's take a look at payout. It should be higher. Twenty-four. You see, it's high. It's not like crazy money, but twenty-eight dollars is at least something. Something that again should be spent on tonics. Tonics is like pretty much the only thing that you should buy on low levels until you will get some like good money at tonics. So, I don't know, let's just spend all the money I have on this snake oil. It's, 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 it's really good. Indian tobacco can be found close to Valentine. It can be found in many different places, but uh, I will go to Valentine to, compl to complete two daily challenges at once. Do I still have five cents to pay bounty? Yes, I do. It's not like it matters, but it's a little bit annoying when you have a bounty on your head because <clears throat> instead of showing you um, like time, it shows you your bounty first. So let's go to Valentine and complete two missions at once, maybe three missions. Maybe I will find uh, maybe I will find wolves. But anyway, guys, thanks to everyone who placed a like, who visited the stream. It's the first part of a series, and second part will be on Sunday. And no, I'm not finishing the stream, I'm just saying that second part will be on Sunday. Oh, suddenly time of a day changed and now it's uh, night. Happens after Blood Money missions, quite often by the way. So anyway, when you have a daily challenge to like visit a shop in some town, you don't e even need to talk to a Hello, 
you just have to get close to a shop like to butcher like here and you see immediately you complete the daily challenge now let's go and search is it wolf no it's not wolf now let's go and search for indian tobacco i think it should be somewhere around here creeping theme oregano no it's definitely not an indian tobacco Oh, here we go. It's, it should be Indian tobacco. Yep. No, not eating. Not eating. It, it still counts, but I don't need to eat it now. And yeah, this daily challenge is to pick up five Indian tobaccos. Let's complete it, and then we will go and complete another. Another blood money mission. Do you think the Kettleman revolver is a good gun? Yep, actually, yes, for beginners it's fine. Um, like, especially when you will buy second one. It's not as, it's not as good as uh, Navy or Le Mans, But it's okay, like, I mean... Ah! I'm sorry guys, my cat is attacking camera for like, I don't know, go away like no reason he knows that you know it's something I will react to and this way he asks for food <laughs> okay so yeah let's go and complete another blood money mission uh, but I want to unlock I want to unlock another blood money giver. I want to have like as many blood money givers as possible unlocked. Cat fight. No, it's a, it's not a cat fight. It's a sneaky cat attack. So you know what? Let's unlock a blood money giver close to a emerald station. It's one of my favorite just because I think the character here. Uh, he's not saying Capitale too often. He says Capitale, don't get me wrong, but not as often as other characters. So do we have any collectibles here? No, just check in. Okay, so <clears throat> is is here. It's relatively close to Emerald Station. I mean in roads blood money giver is a little bit closer but i just i just prefer this his name is joe and he's also from a character from a story you want you know micah's friend let's complete <clears throat> let's complete this mission to get a little bit more money again I will have to complete Stranger mission first. I will have to watch a cutscene first. What do you want? Unskippable, by the way. The I'm trying want? to skip it now. Not working. You won't work. You won't work. Sorry. Kind of jumpy. Right now, kind of on edge. You know. Yeah, I know. But to be clear, I didn't do it. Spoke lie, you know, make shit up. Didn't do what? <clears throat> Why would I kill him? Don't make sense. I didn't. And I wouldn't. And, and, and you got my word on that. Okay, I'm Joe. Sure. I'm not a liar. I trust you. Anyway, friends with Micah? No. With Clay, no. Finch? No. Well, don't not a much. friend of any of them. As long as you keep your mouth shut. Don't lie. <sighs> Folk talk a whole heap of shit. I swear I hardly knew the bastard, but this fella, this fella and his bunch, degenerates, and liars, you kill him? Okay, basically it's another stranger mission. Get chocolate or vanilla? Good. Vanilla. They're over at Fort Brennan. I don't think he has to worry about you keeping your... <laughs> that's a good, you know what, that's a good point. 
definitely he there is no reason for him to worry about us keep keeping our mouth shut because do you remember our character cannot speak I'm not even quite sure if our character understands what people are saying, but he clearly cannot speak. Oops, I'm sorry, wolf. Oh, actually, there is a daily challenge on wolves, but that was not a wolf. Anyway, so what do we need to find here? Oh, we need to go to the fort. And I think we should attack this port. Maybe I already have some food for my horse. Yes, I have an apple. Eliminate the targets. Hello, buddy. What? Why? Boom. You simply need to kill... Like five targets. You know what? As for uh, Stranger Mission, this one is like relatively good. Oh no, 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 he's running away. Nah! I hate the. Ah! <laughs> I hate Steam. <laughs> like literally. Uh. Stay! Now he's running away from me. Stay! <laughs> Guys, I will check. I will change it for uh, the next stream. I ne I just never used uh, Steam to play Red Dead Online, and I didn't know that it has this combination. No, he will run away. No, he will not. Boom. Nice. Now we can go back. He's not gonna run away. They are hiding in a tower. So... Let's take cover here. Okay, one is on the roof, dead. So, three are dead. This one is wounded. Here we go. One, only one left. Where is he hiding? Oh, there it is. Uh, oh no, the mission ends now. No, it's not ending. So I, I will have a time to loot. Actually, it's good. No, it ended. You see, the problem with this mission, just like with any mission, is just like payout is pretty insignificant. But if you will like finish it in less than five minutes, your payout will be not even insignificant. It will be pathetic. Let's go and complete another, another stranger mission. I mean, I should have captured the last one alive and, you know, just go and try to do some daily challenges or something. So who is this? What kind of, what kind of event is this? Hello there. Sure don't have the 
Okay, he probably have like ten dollars, uh, so even if we will help him, he will pay us like ten dollars. So I will ignore it. You know what? Not your lucky day, dude. No, I cannot kill him. Next time, next time. Let's go and get better money. Maybe it was a trap, by the way. It's possible that it's a trap. If it if it's a trap, it's it's better because at least you know you will kill him fast and that's it. But all these missions were like not missions but random encounters where some stranger asks you to travel all across the map and like shoot few bandits there and then pays you five dollars they're just like not good by the way here is why i at the beginning of a stream i said to change you know setting uh to a free roam you see 20 experience for killing a squirrel for killing anyone with a free free aim oops it's a wrong wrong door Yes, I want more of my Capitale. Which is interesting, Jeb Phelps contract is not on a cooldown, but let's uh, let's complete something else. Railroad contract. You know why? Because there are wolves in this mission. And I can kill three wolves and uh, c complete a daily challenge. Okay, okay, I'm ready. Oh, they got some Capitale, nice. And yeah, guys, uh, Blood Money are the best missions uh, that are available for beginners, unfortunately. Like, then when you get rolls, it's good different. But Blood Money missions are the most fun they have like relatively good payout especially considering this extra 60 dollars for completing all three parts of a contract that's the most like significant and there we go oh can you hear wolves there will be wolves I shouldn't have used that eye on him. So anyway, uh, you can find, you have to focus on a clue. But first we will pick up Capitale actually. Capitale can be found in a box here. Oh, this time I found two Capitale. Nice. I mean, grinding Capitale on purpose just like makes no real sense. But when you're already in a mission and all you need to do to pick up Capitale is to open a box, why not? Then, after all, some of uh, some of these opportunity missions are pretty fun. I, in my opinion, they have like very low replayability but initial payout is like okay and they're fun two whole capital at rocks are so generous yeah not like the best payout but still and here we go enemies showing up is there a reason you use double barrel shotgun over pump action? I don't use double barrel shotgun over... Like, shotgun's a pretty close choice. Okay, let me kill this, wolves. I need to kill uh, all the guards so I can kill wolves.
And the last one. Oh, you. Oh, no, 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 no. On, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> On the rock. Oh, no, he can get me here. I, I'm not quite sure. Okay, so I'm gonna trick you, stupid wolves. Haha! <laughs> what do you do now? Okay, let's get on, on, on here. Stay! Not again! <laughs> oh, foof. <laughs> I mean, I really, really need to change this setting. It's super annoying. I mean, literally, if you play Red Dead Redemption 2 or Red Dead Online, you will be constantly pressing Shift and Tab at the same time. Because you know what shift you need to press and hold for running with acceleration and tab you need to switch weapon or... I mean, you can open uh, uh, tonic wheel with... Oops. I hope my horse is fine. It's so annoying. I mean, I never played uh, Red Dead Online via Steam. But... Just... It's just not good. Anyway, as for daily challenges, let me check if there are some, you know, daily challenges that I can easily do. Canned food eaten. This one I will complete after this mission. I will buy some beans. Uh, herons. I'm not going to be looking for herons, but this one is relatively easy. And Chucky mission completed. Again, it's not worth it because, like, I don't have... I don't have a... Uh, you know, I don't have a daily challenge yet. And the daily challenge streak. So, when you... Unless you have a good daily challenge streak, and what does daily challenge streak mean? You have to complete at least one daily challenge every day. So, anyway... If you complete them for seven days in a row, then you receive like 50% more gold for each daily challenge. Then twice more gold after 14 days, then 2.5, and then after 28 days it resets, you receive a treasure map, you receive $100. Uh, but anyway, the point is, if you don't have a streak yet, uh, just complete the easiest daily challenges and like, forget about them. It's not necessary to spend your time on them. And also, another tip, if you can, try to complete daily challenges while you are making some mission. Because you will basically get paid for doing this additionally. Do you know any mobile app for Red Dead Online map? Uh, well, you just basically can open uh, Red Dead Online interactive map just on your phone. I don't know if they have an application. Uh, because I usually use uh, just web site to check that map. But, like, you can just open it in browser if they don't. It's like, it's uh, it's the best, the best. Let, let me... Uh, so if you want to find it, I'm not quite sure if link in the description, but it's called you you simply need to google Red Dead Online interactive map It's called Gene Robke's map and there you can find everything like herbs animals uh, collectible items like you know everything Yeah, major Jefferson says Gene Robke and Google yeah, but you can just simply uh, You can simply google Red Dead Online interactive map. My cat is here again, so get ready for camera to turn over. Go away. Go. Sorry guys, technical issues. My cat is attacking camera. Go. Go. Ah, now he's attacking me. 
What kind of uh, stream sniper are you? Meow meow. Chippy chippy chapa chapa. Now go away, please. So anyway, while we're waiting, let's let's get some uh, let's get some easy experience by simply killing animals with a free aim. Do we have some animals? Yep, easy 25 experience. Do I have an experience for killing chicken? No. And he's back. You're not gonna believe it. He's back and he will turn Cameron. <laughs> okay. Wait, so, sorry for technical inconveniences. He, he literally attacks uh, the stand on which camera is standing. Okay, let's deliver, you know what, because at any point he will literally destroy the camera. Okay, now he, he just... Uh, Oh, no, 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 no. I don't see anything. That's a problem. I forgot to change... Uh, I forgot to change brightness setting on this... On this account. And it's a night time. But, let, you know what, let's deliver. Let's see how much... How much gold and money we will get. So, oh no, gold payout is not significant, but at least we completed some award, which, uh, you know, there are two types of awards. First, you can reset up to 10 times, like this one, you know, complete for your own missions. I don't recommend you to try to do it. But anyway, if you, there are some. So anyway, when you reset it, it uh, gives you 0 0.4 gold bars. And second, you cannot reset, it's just they're kind of lame. Um, by the way, there are, like, kill enemies with repeater, like, the easiest one here is to kill 100 enemies with a bow, but I don't have a bow yet, I will buy it and then we'll complete it, so we'll receive, with a bow headshot, but, like, the thing is, if you're using a bow, you pretty much always will go for a headshot. Okay, apparently he moved camera and, uh, yeah. So, like, let me check which level do I have. Level 8. The thing is, on level 10 I will receive a, a treasure map. So, level 10 is important. Let's try to reach level 10 on this stream, right? Right. I'm glad that you enjoyed this idea. Okay, so apparently now Railroad contract has a cooldown. So let's complete second part of a Jeb Phelps contract. Because I remind you, you want to complete all three parts to receive $60. It's a one-time reward. You can get it only once. But I will complete it and then I will have enough money. To purchase a bow. If your horse dies, does it die forever? No. You simply have to pay four dollars if you don't have an insurance, and it will be back in like two minutes. Also, you can revive your horse if you have a like a special tonic which is called horse reviver. Cat, the easiest is to pick herbs. Yeah, picking herbs is. I don't know if it's the fastest, it's the easiest, it's true, but if, is it the fastest, I don't know, but uh, thank you uh, for uh, reminding me, it's actually a good way to spend time while you're waiting for a high payout in the blood money or any other mission, now I will show it. Okay, actually this mission is not the best one to show it, because here it ends once you deliver a target. Oh, wow, I found a collectible. Nice. Whoop! <laughs> Landing like a pro. Landing like a pro. The thing is, you can pick up collectibles even if you don't have collector roll yet.
and you receive quite a lot of experience, which is which is nice. You know, let's, uh, in this mission, let's do things differently. Let's go and pick herbs before going for a... Doo -doo -doo. I'm already getting, like, timer already started, so I don't have to waste too much time. Usually it's better to do when you, like completing the mission before like com completing the mission you go around and pick herbs when you know how much time you have and here is here is why we are picking herbs let me show you you see there are two pretty easy rewards this one is not super easy but this one uh no it's in a different category it's in a trade trade Yep, here we go. Sell 100 herbs to a doctor. This one is super easy to complete. You get easy gold from it. Oh no, I should not be eating herbs, obviously. But yeah, usually, you know, it's it's a good idea. Like, if, if you need to spend a few more minutes to receive higher payout, just go and collect herbs and then go to doctor and sell them to doctor. And there we go. Why am I going here? Because of Capitale, obviously. Four Capi- What? Like, that's unexpected. I don't- I don't know why there are so much Capitale here. So anyway, we need to- We need to attack this, uh lamp set this building on fire and wait for gang members to arrive i don't have bolas yet you know let's pick another herb while we are waiting oh no 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 they they ah That's super annoying. Where is the last bandit? I'm hiding, not because it's a good hiding spot, but you know, simply to regenerate health without drinking tonic. I'm afraid I have to drink tonic now because because there were too many enemies. Don't worry, in these missions, when you die, you lose nothing except for dignity. Well, that's a lot of enemies for a for a low level. Let's drink a few more tonics. I, I mean, after all, I bought them for some reason. Okay, here we go. Bounty target is here. Not a bounty target, but, you know, the one we are trying to capture. The whole city looks like uh, the whole city is fighting against us, which is, you know, not the good uh, situation.
That's why I like, uh, you know, playing Red Dead Online on the lower levels, because it's at least somewhere it's a little bit challenging. Ewan was dead eye, obviously. I'm not sure if I can kill uh, this uh, gang member. I'm afraid that it is an endless wave of enemies. Which might be a little too much for a low level. <laughs> no, not again! Okay, here we go. Now it's only me and uh, this dude. Not sure if I can knock him out, but I definitely can loot him. You know what, let's loot all the enemies because I'm getting... It's endless in that area. Sometimes it is, if like locals trying to attack you and you're getting too close. Uh, I'm not finding like anything like extremely useful, but I want to receive a higher payout. So, you know, looting everyone makes sense. And also something that I should do and you should do if you want to receive more money, gold and experience for each Red Dead Online mission is to set up your own timer each time you complete an mission. Because remember, you tr need to try to complete them in exactly 12 or 9 minutes. 12 is a little bit better. But I'm on a stream, so I forgot uh, to set up timer again. Like, on the later levels, you can learn a trick and your horse will be picking herbs, but not not on the low levels. This trick is from collector role, I believe. Oh, Marcus Stephanie, thank you. Thanks a lot for super chat. Uh, Marcus says, oh, you know what, I will play select before or even reading. Uh, Marcus says, what a great idea for a stream theme. Missed a lot of your Ooh, <laughs> I'm reading the super chat and ah, no, 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 no. and he's just running away. Stay, stay. <laughs> so what a great idea for a stream theme. Missed a lot of your stream in the last month, but I'm still a fan of your work. Yeah, I haven't seen you for a while. Uh, keep it up, keep it up. Thanks, thanks. And yeah, I also like this idea of a series uh, of streams and by the way I, I don't know if I mentioned it my, my plan is not only to level up from level 1 to 100 on, on streams but also to buy all the roles during this journey and hopefully to level all the roles up except for naturalist I'm sorry I'm not promising that I will level naturalist uh, for more than level 5 okay I'm sorry. Is this a different account? Yes, it's a new account. Like, guys, I'm level, I'm level nine. Oh, by the way, I will complete level ten right now. Oops, I'm sorry, squirrel. Oops, I'm sorry, squirrel. That one is alive, by the way. Ah, na 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 na. Here we go, rabbit. <laughs> Uh, you don't get a free aim bonus when you stomp animals, unfortunately. It would be it would be fun. Anyway, you know what? Let's deliver him. I will. Uh, I mean, I should receive enough experience to reach level ten, and then we will go and find the first treasure map. No, I have no idea who I'm uh, working with.
No, I, I bought the game again and I created a new account because like uh, You see the thing is oh no, 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 he's gonna die now uh, the thing is If you if you already have uh, Let's say you have this game on epic store right Red Dead redemption 2 and you will buy on the same account uh, Rockstar account <clears throat> you will buy another copy of Red Dead Redemption 2 or Red Dead Online which doesn't matter probably because the game uses the same client on Steam I'm not sure if you can run uh, if you can choose between these versions uh, without problems so instead I created a second Rockstar account not the second obviously because I have a lot of them it's just like, you know what, once I, I, I had Red Dead Redemption 2, full game, on Xbox, and when Red Dead Online was released, I decided, well, I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy uh, Red Dead Online to create a second character. Back then, I didn't know that you can create second character or third character or how many characters you want on Xbox without problem. But anyway... <clears throat> I bought Red Dead Online and you know what? Nothing happened. It's literally, it's just not existent. I paid five dollars, so I don't really care too much, but it just disappeared. So, because uh, the thing is, the problem is, these games are using exactly the same client. It's exactly the same. Rocks are never bothered to create a smaller separate account uh, not account but the client for red dead online it uses full red dead redemption 2 client so like buying red dead redemption 2 in red dead online on the same platform in my opinion is a questionable choice because you know something might happen like with you just like happened with me Okay, guys, so level 10, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna go and f get a treasure map, because treasure map is something you need to... Oh, vampire. Hello, vampire. Treasure map is something you need to uh, find to use as soon as you get it, because, like, as you will see, payout for treasure map uh, in both money and gold will be the most payout, significant payout I will receive on this stream. Yeah, it's definitely a vampire, I'm telling you. So, it's always like your first treasure will always be at Bard's Crossing, but I'm not quite sure if it, uh, at the same place always. But anyway, uh, I think easiest way to get there is to fast travel to Valentine, and from there, you know, just ride. But for second account on same platform, you need to buy the game again. Yep, yep, I, I bought it again. I bought it again on PC. Like, on again, uh, guys, on, on consoles, you don't need to buy the game again to create a second account and play create a second character. On PC, unfortunately, I don't know how to make it uh, without buying a game. Luckily, it was on discount. So I bought Red Dead Redemption 2. Bounty Hunter or Collector? This month, Bounty Hunter for sure. Bard's crossing is glitched out for me. Do you know why on PC? Uh, you mean this treasure map is glitched? I don't know. I haven't... Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't seen this issue before, but who knows? Maybe I will have this issue as well right now. So let's go. Let's travel there. Unfortunately, you cannot search for treasure maps while you do in a mission, like blood money mission or something. Oh, maybe maybe it's a pretty cool event. Let's go and check. Maybe it's a treasure map giver. I hope it is. Yes. Yes. Oh, he he literally uh, tries to sell. 
Okay. No, no, me sorry. You're not going anywhere. Don't let him go. Because... He has a treasure map, another one. So you will see how how much money I will earn from these two treasure maps. Actually, in Bard's Crossing, I think payout is also reduced usually. Don't let him go. By the way, guys, since I cannot alt-tab, would you please give me a favor, someone, and uh, type in the chat how many viewers and how many likes do we have on this stream. And meanwhile, thanks to everyone who joined this stream, who placed a like. Do I have a food? Yeah, let's feed. Uh, and to everyone who supports me on YouTube, uh, membership, Patreon, or... <clears throat> YouTube super chat 321 and 384 we're well good good nice results thanks yeah let's go level one horse uh, not not level one but horse on a level one and you you can check bonding level here you, you see close to a, a horse uh, breed can took a saddler and close to it you see this emblem em, em, emo, um, emblem of a horse and now anyway you can see from the name of this breed which bonding level you have on this horse and right now it's bonding level one and bonding level one is a pain it's literally pain but don't worry by simply riding you will level up like pretty you will increase bonding level pretty fast just uh it's something that we will do since we have money already you will need to visit stables and buy as much hay as possible to feed your horse hay carrots maybe apples stuff like that so anyway how to search for treasure maps you go to the yellow area that you can see on your map you see right here and you just ride around run around and use dead die not dead die but eagle eye eagle eye is the same button as dead die but when you're not aiming but there is another thing again just use interactive red dead online's map if you have some issues just uh, use the map and it will show you all possible locations for a treasure fortunately let's Let's give this horse sage. It's probably there. Up there. And yeah, uh, searching for collectibles or for treasure maps is much easier when you playing with a controller. Just because controller also you know, makes a vibration when you're getting close to a... Oh no, no! My, my horse is dead. Oh, I can revive it, nice. I have a reviver. I have no idea where I get the reviver from. But get up, horse. You're doing good. Here you go. Tasty, tasty food. And you see, I received a little bit of uh, experience. Not I, but my horse received a little bit of an experience. By the way, you want to eat food as well. Especially when there is a daily challenge. I don't have any more. Yeah, like really, a horse with a bonded level 1 is pretty annoying. Runs out of stamina extremely fast. Okay, so it's not here as well, and not there, so... Yeah, you probably get... Yeah, I agree with Ike. 
Kyren that uh, Horse Reviver is from this tutorial mission. When you get all this stuff for horse and a free horse, basically. For the first time ever, I think for the first time ever, I have like an issue with finding this collect uh, with finding this treasure. Maybe because I'm playing on PC, not because I'm playing on PC, but because I'm playing with mouse and a keyboard. Because sometimes the glowing that you should see while using eagle eye is just not working. Nope, it's not here. Can you use controller on PC? Yes, you can. Uh, and you know what? If you if you're planning to like just ride around, search for collectibles, stuff like that, casually playing without much shooting, it's a better choice. I just like uh, mouse and the keyboard uh, because of shooting mechanics. Hmm. Usually, like, I was finding a treasure here, or down there, or in a river. Now I don't see it anywhere. Try the river. I, I think I was at the river, but maybe here. Maybe I will have to use an uh, interactive map and check possible locations. Oh, sorry, Coyote. Oh, there it is. There it is. So, no worries. Let's see payout. Should be around one gold and one hundred dollars. Let's take. Don't forget to take. 1.3 and 85 so you see an additional tonic so as you can see much more than for previous rewards now treasure map kamasa river let's complete this mission as well so at least i will finish this uh this stream with some good amount of not good but you know relatively good amount of money and gold We will have to fast travel from Valentine, obviously. And yes, guys, I'm using three outfit from this monthly event. At the beginning of a stream I was showing. Actually, you know what? I think that when I will be uh, like uh, releasing this uh, recording of this stream, I will make timestamps like uh, like getting free outfit finding a treasure failing uh, like this what do, do people know what is happening completing blood money missions failing again my horse died oh no stream crashed you know for for viewers to navigate I think your cat is mad. He's mad for sure, and I'm not. I don't know why. You know what? Let's let's visit stables. Let's visit uh, uh, general store. I mean, I can order. I can order canned food via Keflog, but we will be visiting stables anyway. I actually made a lot of cash and gold from capital emissions. Yeah, like uh, you know. 
As for beginners, capital emissions are actually paying fine. Is it possible to get Frontiersman outfit on PC? No, and I will tell you even more, it's not possible to get this outfit on console anymore. It's uh, it's from all the Lopas. Okay, does horse really buck you off? Yep. Definitely have to show the stock in stable feature for beginners. Here is the thing, guys. Since I'm playing in a private lobby, I'm not gonna get stuck in, in stables. But if you're playing in a public lobby, what you need to do, what you need to know that uh, there is an annoying bug in Red Dead Online that at this point is not even a bug anymore, it's a feature. Uh, if you will try to enter stables on your horse, you will most of the time get stuck. Like, almost always. So what you need to do, I will show you. I mean, I will not get stuck, but I will show you anyway. Let's go to stables. You, you have to dismount and send your horse away and wait until it will disappear from a minimap. Uh, and which is even better until it will like run away somewhere so you don't even see it. Oh no 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 no. You see it's so annoying when you have a uh, level 1 horse but i don't have a good food for it and i need uh, these uh, uh, herbs to sell them to doctor later so anyway now what do you need to do you dismount you get close to your horse you, you choose of this press the button and then make it flee and wait until it will, it will run away like so you don't even see it Unfortunately, in a public lobby, it's uh, the only way to make sure that you're not gonna uh, that you're not gonna get stuck at stables. And then you enter. And here, like, what do I need to buy? I want to buy horse provisions. Hay is uh, the best choice because it's cheap. Also, celery is kind of good. Sugar cube. With sugar cube, you can become a sugar daddy. I don't know. It's what I've been told. I don't know if it's true. Uh, peppermint. It's not something I need. So yeah, we good. And now we can feed. Oops, not with cigarettes. We can feed our horse with hay. And this way our horse will always be, you know, happy. And also we will level up bonding level pretty fun. Fun. Pretty fast. So, okay. Cannot sweet corn. I will take it. You, okay, so. Let's buy four. Just for daily challenges. There we go. Yummy, yummy. I mean, it's better to buy... For a second I thought that it's a player attacking me. I mean, Valentine vibes are so strong that I forget that I'm in a solo lobby and thought that, you know, this NPC that is uh, just passing by. <laughs> he will attack me. That is, a, that is some player. <laughs> Valentine, if you know, you know. If you are a beginner, well, try to avoid Valentine if you're not looking for PvP. And you don't look for PvP if you are a beginner. So, like, try to avoid Valentine. Yes, Valentine PTSD, for sure. For sure. So, I, I think we have to fast travel to one horn. Like usually, usually um, fast traveling costs quite a lot of money for beginners, but this month it's free, so it's it's actually make uh, first levels much easier. Like much easier because um, you know to fast uh, for fast travel all across the map, you have to on average to pay like ten dollars. 
And as a beginner, you probably don't have that money at all. So it's it's a useful it's a useful um, it's not a it's not a discount it's a bonus I uh, I guess it's a useful bonus for beginners. Why the banks are always closed and we cannot make a theft on them? Because Rockstar don't want to bring uh, you know fun content to Red Dead Online. I don't know why. Here we go, horse bonding level increased to level 2. It's good because now we can calm down our horse by pressing uh, left stick I believe on controller or right stick and button G on PC. Cat Mbappe signed Real Madrid. Yeah, I saw it. I was surprised. But it's, it's, it's cool actually, it's cool. What horse is that? It's a Kladruber Saddler. No, it's not, not a Kladruber. It's a Kentucky Saddler. Sorry for misinformating you. I cannot understand why we have a Western type online, uh, but we cannot drop trains or stores. Well, no one does. No one understands why. That's the trick. Rockstar understands. But they are not gonna tell us. Oh, by the way, in this area, I have to be careful because there will be cougars in my area. I mean, Joe, not kidding, guys. Cougars will attack me, probably. They are around. Yeah, so I have to, I have to be careful. Okay. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> Unlike with treasure, uh, with previous treasure, I found this like almost immediately. And here we go. Let's see how much I will get from this one. I think uh, less gold, but more money. Yeah, a little less gold, much more money. So I already have four gold bars and two hundred and fifty-three dollars which is good i mean i can buy bow already and bow is uh, like a must have for many missions it's really good because there is a easy challenge so let's buy it let's also buy arrows like bow will be magically teleported to my Oh no no, I've spent forty dollars on arrows. I, I don't need that many arrows. I mean it's just like a uh I'm used to buy as much ammo as possible on main account because I don't need money, but like forty dollars is too much. I don't need one thousand arrows. But anyway, I will earn more. On the next stream. On the next stream I will earn more. And with that being said, uh thanks. To everyone who watched, if you're looking for a next part of a stream, when I will make it on, on Sunday, I will put a link uh, in a description to this video as well. So, I, I mean, just in case if you're watching these streams later, as you know, as a one big guide. But, with that being said, thanks to everyone who placed a like, thanks to everyone who joined this stream and watched it, and to everyone who supported uh, me via Super Chat and... You know, YouTube membership, stuff like that. So, see ya on Sunday. I hope I will, you know, I will make a stream. Will almost likely. So, yeah, bye-bye. Stay safe and 